Spirit of the Lord. Think of the woods right where you are. The Lord is blessing you right now. There's a blessing with your name written on it. The hand of the Lord rests mightily upon you. The Spirit of the living God dwells within you, and no weapon formed against you shall prosper. It's Love in the Morning with Rashane Douglas. Really want to welcome our friends joining on Facebook, those joining on YouTube. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in this morning. My friends listening on the FM band 101.1357 and 9. Welcome this morning. My friends on the World Wide Web, my friends on Flow, my friends on Digiplay, my friends on the Love 101 FM app. All those who are listening to Love 101 at this time. Welcome to our devotional. And our devotional theme this morning is the power that's working in you. The power that's working in you. Now, the reason why I was inspired by this devotional this morning, yesterday when I was closing out the show, I reminded you of um, um, Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20, where it says, Unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we could ever ask or think. A lot of times, as believers, we overlook this very important statement. It says, according to the power that's working in you. Now, I want to focus on the old aspect of the five foolish virgins and the five wise virgins. And this is found there in Matthew chapter 25, reading from verse 1 to 13. And it says, then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were wise and five were foolish. They were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil. Look at that word, no oil. But those who the wise took in their vessels with their lamps, they took oil in their vessels. The wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. So notice the foolish ones had no oil. I want you to replace the word oil and put the word faith. In other words, the foolish ones had no faith. Verse 4 says, But the wise one, the wise one, are the wise, took faith in their vessels with their lamps. The Bible declares in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1, it says, Now faith is the substance. In this case, the substance, it was their oil. Now, I was thinking about oil and what came to mind, you know, was crude oil. You know, I started to looking at crude oil. I remember when I was doing chemistry in high school, I was introduced to crude oil and we speak about it every day. Now, what is crude oil? Crude oil means a mixture of hydrocarbons that exists in liquid phase and natural underground reservoirs and remain liquid at atmospheric pressure after passing through surface separating facilities. Now, we know about oil refineries. They're the ones that separate crude oil. So crude oil is made up of different components. Now, at the top of the crude oil, when it's being distributed, it, had, it has to be e heated in a furnace. So when it's heated, it gives you different components at the top. Maybe at about 20 degrees Celsius, we are accustomed to LPG, which is liquid petroleum gas, which is, which is the one that we use for cooking gas. Um, the next mixture is petrol, which we use in our cars. Jet fuels, which we use in planes. Diesel oil, which we use in our trucks and in our buses. Um, fuel, that's fuel oil, which we use in ships. Lubricating oil, which we use to lubricate. And of course, finally, at the bottom of the crude oil, we have what is called asphalt that is used to make the roads which we drive on. So crude oil has different components, but it has to be refined. It has to be heated. 
Your faith is like crude oil this morning. It has to go through a refinery. It has to be refined. And that is the reason why God allows the tests. That is the reason why God allows the trials. Because he wants to refine your faith. Maybe some of us are called for motor cars. Some of us are called for petroleum, which is um, liquid petroleum gas, LPG, which is used in for cooking gas. Some of us are called as jet fuel. Some of us are called as diesel. But we all, we all use our faith. Our faith can be described in these different categories. We have to apply faith. The Bible says without faith, you can have a motor vehicle and there's no oil, there's no car in your motor vehicle. How is it going to move unless it's an electric car? But I'm speaking about cars which use fuel. You have a bus. How is it going to move when there's no oil? There's no diesel in that bus. There are times when we're going overseas and the plane is delayed. Sometimes what they're doing is they're refueling, free fluing, fueling the plane. They're filling the tank with jet fuel. They're ensuring that they have enough fuel to take you from point A to point B. So having fuel in your vehicle, in a ship, in a bus, in you as a believer, you need to have faith in you. In order for you to believe that God will take you from one point to another point, in order for you to believe that God will open up this door, then there has to be fuel. So be like the five, the five wise virgins who took their faith with them wherever they go. They were believing. They were waiting on the bridegroom. Be like those wise virgins this morning. Be purposeful this morning, knowing that the power of God is working in you. God says he's able to take you from point B or from point A to point B or even to point Z. But there has to be something working in you. Where is your faith this morning? God says, without faith, it is impossible to please me. It is the faith that you have, my brother, my sister, that's working for you this morning. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you because your power is working in us. You remind us in your word that you are able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we could ever ask or think. And you said, according to the power that's working in us. The power of God is working in you. The power of God is working in me. You need to activate that power. You need to activate your faith. Spend some time reading the word. Spend time going to church. That's how you will activate your faith in your God. You're tuned to Love 101 FM, the family station. I want to welcome you if you have just joined us. Welcome. We're still inside our devotional. Of course, we looked at the topic the power that's working in you. If you have no faith, then there's no power working in you. If you have no faith, then there's no power working in you. Activate your faith this morning. Believe in your God and you will be established. Believe in his prophets and you will prosper. Stay tuned, my friends. Resolve your conflict peacefully with restorative justice. Call 876-906-4923. The time by the Ministry of Justice is... It's now 80 minutes, 80 minutes after 6 o'clock. Yes, really want to thank our friends over there at Ministry of Justice. It's now time for our segment. Of course, it's Through the Bible with Love. Uh, Through the Bible with Love is brought to you by the Open Bible Standard Churches of Jamaica. Yes, my friends, they encourage us to study our Bibles each day. Yes, my friends, they encourage us to study our Bibles each day. And as I always say, read your Bibles, pray every day, and you will grow, grow, grow. 
very powerful psalm we'll be sharing with you this morning from Psalm 61. Hear my cry, O Lord, and attend unto my prayer. I want you to listen to this psalm. Listen and be blessed by Psalm 61. Psalm 61 for the director of music with stringed instruments of David. Hear my cry, O God. Listen to my prayer. From the ends of